Hi everyone, Laura here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make photo negative images like the ones I created for the Spinal Nerves blog. It's actually super simple to do in Atlas, so you'll be able to use images like these in no time for your own courses, assignments, or presentations. I find these images especially helpful because they really allow you to focus on the highlighted items and they minimize visual distraction. One more thing before we start, I'm using Atlas on an iPad. This process may be a tiny bit different for those of you who are on other devices, depending on how your device handles screenshots, but the general principles are the same. Ready? Let's get started. Once I've got Atlas loaded, I'm going to select a view. We have a ton of them available, organized by system and by region. Since I'm going to recreate the brachial plexus trunks image from the spinal nerves blog, Let's go to the nervous system and scroll through the options. I'll choose the brachial plexus view, and there we go. Now we're gonna change the background color by tapping or clicking the settings button at the top of the screen. The default background in Atlas uh, is white, but you can change it easily to gray or black. Now it might be the case that there are some uh, structures in your way. You can remove whole systems using the systems panel or individual structures using the dissect tool. I'm going to use the dissect tool to get some of these additional nerves out of the way so we can see the trunks. Once the structure or structures you want to select are visible, remember to turn off the dissect tool before tapping on them or they'll disappear. We're going to use multi-select for the trunks since there's more than one. We can also select the spinal nerves they're connected to if we want. Um, but I'm just going to focus on the trunks themselves for right now. Here's where the magic happens. All we have to do once we've selected the structures we want is hit select other up here. See how everything turns blue except for the trunks? Now we're going to turn the blue stuff transparent by pressing fade. And there you go. Fancy photo negative look achieved. Once you've got the angle you want, you can take a screenshot in whatever way works on your device. If you have a mobile device, the screenshot usually ends up in your photos. If you want to come back to your view later, say you have to rush to class or a meeting, you can save the view to your favorites. It's simple, just tap or click the star at the bottom, name your file, and boom. We can quit the program and come back. Now select the star at the top of the screen when you're selecting your view, and you should see your saved views there. I have a whole bunch in here from various projects. The highlighting stays, so you can easily pick up right where you left off. Pretty simple, right? For more helpful tips for students and instructors, check out our resources page and subscribe to the VB blog. Happy image crafting.